So I picked it up and it was Charlene and she's like, we'd like to welcome you to UC Davis School of Medicine. And the first thing I said was, are you serious? Like, is this a joke? And she's like, nope, this is for real. And then I screamed. I ran into um, the living room where my parents were sitting. And I was like, mom, I got in. And my mom dropped her laptop and was just like screaming. And then I just couldn't stop crying. And I was like, I was just so thankful. And I was like, thank you so much. Um, and I was shaking. It was like the greatest thing ever. So I saw that I was getting a call from a 916 number, so I ran from my cubicle all the way down the hall to that stairwell, and I picked up the phone, and it was Charlene congratulating me. So I was just jumping up and down, screaming in the stairwell of, of, among all these coworkers, um, excited that I that I got into Davis. I was I was so happy. I was actually in the receptionist's office, and so uh, you know answering phones, and you can't really scream, so I'm just kind of shaking my hands, going crazy, but um, I was super excited because UC Davis is my dream school. And I was checking my email all day because I knew that they would either email me telling me I didn't get in or I would get a phone call and I hadn't gotten anything so I went to go lay down on my mom's bed because I was kind of bummed out and I checked my email again and there was no email and literally right at that moment my phone changes into, into uh, an incoming call and it was a 916 area code and it was, it was Davis and then after that I just kept saying OMG. It felt surreal so and then after that we just cried and then we prayed. For the first time, actually, I got speechless. I believe they said, hello, are you still there? And so after that, I put forth a few words. It was kind of embarrassing, but it was a great feeling. I got off the phone with them, called my mom, called my brother, called my girlfriend. I called everybody. To be completely honest, I was really reserved. But as soon as the phone call went off, I yelled out, let out a huge yell, right, echoed up and through the stairwell. People came out and checked on me and poked their heads out. And I was like, sorry. Just got into Davis, can be a doctor. I was working full time and I was having a hard day so I went to get myself a snack and I got the phone call in the chip aisle, I still remember, and I started crying, of course, because it had been a long time coming. My husband and I just jumped, we cried, it was just a whole full mixed emotions moment where I didn't know if I should have cried, laughed, and I just jumped with excitement. Since I was a kid, I've always gone with my mom to her uh, appointments. I always translated it for her. And now as, as a physician, I want to be able to both practice medicine in English and Spanish so that I can help people just like my mom back in the day. Being a doctor really represents a conduit to a healthcare system for a lot of people. I grew up in Southern California in a Vietnamese immigrant family, and um, I have one brother and one sister. My little sister, she had a lot of um, struggles growing up with her health, um, born three months premature, and so kind of watching her grow up in a bilingual, single mother household, low income, um, really inspired me to advocate for kids and families in similar situations. I think the most important thing about why I want to become a doctor is being able to return to the communities from where I come from and being able to provide health for them and at the same time being able to break those barriers that sometimes affects uh, their access to health. A lot of my family, it was hard to see doctors uh, working in the fields. There was a lot of migrant working through the Central Valley and uh, that was the reason for me that, you know, there needs to be more doctors um, in the Central Valley. Um, the clinician shortage is real where I come from, and it's something that I want to help alleviate. I want to help address this issue. I chose UC Davis School of Medicine because Sacramento is my home. I was born and raised here, and I've interacted with these populations for my entire life. I came from an emergency medicine background in which I got to serve at a local county hospital and really see uh, community support and that is one of the things that UC Davis really prides themselves. Um, I could definitely see that based off of all the connections that they have going on in the communities that they're serving and I really wanted to become a part of that. UC Davis is well known for primary care. Um, it's located in Sacramento. I am interested in keeping uh, being involved in health policy so uh, integrating the clinical practice to the health policy and the population changes that I want to make uh, really drew me to UC Davis. I chose UC Davis because this is the place where I grew up and I was raised and this was an institution that took care of my family members growing up and it was an honor for me to come serve the population, the community that I've become immersed with throughout my upbringing.